the blood pressure. All right, we could lean the chair back, uh, but we're not going to do that just for the sake of time. All right. I'm going to show them something. His blood pressure came, cuff came off, so I'm going to put it back on. By the way, you can actually take it. Ooh. <laughs> All right. What's wrong, Mr. Clark? Yeah, hold on. Here we go. You ready? That's what it'll sound like coming through. Okay. Might have nightmares. Uh, <laughs> now, so, so before we get him back to bed, we want to try to get the bed as ready as we can. So I'm going to move stuff out of the way. I'm going to move Mr. Jenkins' pad out of the way. I'm going to straighten this out, straighten the sheets out a little bit. Probably want okay. to just down because he's going to butt the line about right there. Yeah. All right, so we're anticipating where he's going to land because we're going to use this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use this to move them up in the bed. Now, the tricky part here, I think, is arranging the lines so they're not going to be tangled up once we get up and turn around. So chest tube should be OK like this. That chest uh, tube is hanging on by a thread. That yeah. is an amazing job that we got him over and moved him out. That's skill. It certainly <laughs> is. All right. So what I'm going to do with the catheter is it's less likely to get tangled up if I go underneath his leg like this. All right. Oops. Okay. All right, Mr. Clark, we're going to head back to bed. Can you lean toward me? Here we go. Lean toward me. All right. Let's try to scoot forward. Take that pulse off, so. Yeah. So can you do this? Like, is it okay yep. to take that off? Yep. For the transfer. And then, um, you know, just get it back on once you've got him to where you're going. All right, let's get those feet on the ground, Mr. Clark. All right, which they don't do very well. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to get around him, push him back, and block him. All right, you ready, Mr. Jenkins? Or Keith? Let's see. Are we close enough? Yeah. All right, Mr. Clark, on the count of three, let's stand up, turn around, and get on the bed. Are you ready? One, two, three. There we go. All right, let's get on that bed. All right, a little tip. Take off the belt before you lie down. You got it? Yeah. If you can wear scrubs in acute care, wear scrubs. And most places will let you. All right. I can't go in. So we're going to anticipate lying him down. So you want to take that. Does it matter what side it's on? Like this? Actually, no, we could have it on this side. Uh, we always put it over there so that you'll think to move it over here when you mm -hmm. do the transfer that way. But the chest tube is going into his left side, so we do need to have that uh, over there. All right. Do we want to scoot him back some first? Yeah, before? probably. All right. I'm going to scoot uh, this side. Of scoot back. One. And the other side. And again, you got to watch out for these hands right here. Let me just get this. We back far enough? Yeah. All right, Mr. Clark. We're going to lie down on this side. So you can see a big part of this is uh, watching out for the lines and arranging the lines. 
And these are not very many lines. <laughs> it, it, it gets a lot worse. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about flopping your leg around there. <laughs> a little rigidly flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we didn't do a great job with the, there it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> didn't come out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna raise the bed up. Yeah, Yeah, body mechanics is a big deal when you're doing this throughout your day. Thank you. <laughs> I knew the camera was rolling. <laughs> On three? Uh, yep. One, two, three. There we go. All right. How you doing, Mr. Clark? Going to get another set of vital signs. And then we want to get the, him set up in bed. Uh, the way he needs to be. So typically, the way he was before we came in here. So we need to put the sleeves back on. It goes on upside down. <laughs> you didn't get that on camera, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting everything. We'll take care of that in post. <laughs> Make sure that he's not laying on any of the tubes, because that is a pressure also waiting to happen. So, and, any type of tube. And we want the sheet and the pad as flat as possible without wrinkles. By the way, why do we have a sheet in the chair before we go over there? Yes. Uh, and that's why there was actually a pad sitting in the chair too. How do we look, Keith? Good. All right. Never, ever, ever, even every patient always put a chuck, put a sheet in the chair and put a chuck in the chair. If if nursing comes in and you, they're sitting there without a chuck, they're going to be hunting for the person who did that. So mm -hmm. always put that chuck in. All right. And then that's when you say OT. <laughs> uh, what about the rails? At least one down. So it's typical to have the two head ones uh, up. Um, sometimes you might have a, another foot rail down. Okay, have we covered everything? Are there any questions? Did you need to plug those back in? Yes, thank you. All right, the sleeves don't do any good unless they're plugged in. And again, these aren't actually made for these, so they come back out. Keep in mind that our vital stays stable. Yours may not. Probably won't. I can't imagine it doing that. <laughs> but again, we're not going to do anything crazy. Just see if you can use a little just basic clinical judgment about things. Anything else? So if vitals drop and we're in the chair, do we not really worry about them pumping us as much and we get them back in the bed as quickly as possible? Well, someone like you could, could do that. Um, but a lot of people are going to need a second person. So I would just move as quickly and as safely as you can. Because you are, you know, you, you are, even though you're strong enough to do this, 
you know, doing it 20 times a day is going to wear you down after a while. So, yes. Do we need to lower the bed all the way down? Like we yes. <laughs> anything else? <coughs> all right. Can you think of anything else we need to mention? No. All right. Uh, when you, every time you finish, either Keith or I will give you some brief feedback over there. Uh, before you leave, and then I'll tell you the rest of what's going to happen when we go downstairs. So, cut. <laughs> <laughs>